Welcome to another episode of Recoil Small Engine. This is a 2009 4010 Mule. This one's the power steering version. And uh, you see the front tire's off. It is dry cracked. Uh, in here it's pretty, you know, this camera doesn't, there. You can kind of see it there. And then on the other side a bit as well. Dry cracking, they don't hold air anymore. So we got to pull them off. I don't do the tires myself. I just send them off to a tire shop in a small local town. Um, I got this jack here, a 19 inch, it's like a five or six ton jack from the dump, surprisingly. And I just need to fill it with fluid. That's all that's wrong with it. Um, it's got some problems right now, but uh, otherwise, not much. I'm gonna set you guys back here. Let me jack this up. We'll get this tire popped off and uh, we will continue on. really needs some fluid I gotta pump it and pump it before it lifts you can see the gap there so we also are getting spark plugs for it um I know you might go grab plugs this here was seized in um as you see it is pretty rusty so we're gonna have to do something about that as well oh my channel looks kind of rusty that's nice So, what else? So yeah, this is a two-cylinder motor. Uh, this is the same or very similar motor with... It's basically the same motor you get in the Kawasaki lawnmowers, the Cub Cadet ones. There's some slight modifications to this one, meaning there's a transmission built into this one. Um, and it's got a throttle body fuel injection system on it. Normally they have... Um, they normally just have 17 mil or 19 mil. We're all rusty. Our sockets are sucks. I have to sand them all down. I know you can't see anything, but they all got rusty on me. Left them outside too long. So this here is my M12 uh, Milwaukee fuel half inch impact driver i love this it cost me a bit of money i'm not gonna lie you don't need it um i use that bosch one i still do the bosch one is for my smaller stuff and there's big ones for tires and the bigger stuff so pop these off We dropped it right there. There it is. Way down underneath there. So let's get these in. I got a log propping up the front one on the other side. So if you usually give them a boot, they will pop off. some intense fighting not really i just jacked the jack up more just a couple more inches and the tire decided it wanted to 
eject itself over there. So let's check. Uh, everything in here seems pretty tight, honestly. Um, we can clean this up a little bit. This crap doesn't need to be here. This would be your park brake here. Okay, and then it's just got a master cylinder in it. This is a pretty solid little rig. There's that little guy uh, right uh, in there, in the shaft that runs into the this shaft I'm talking about. That's a drive shaft. Um, that's going into that kind of built-in transmission style thing. It comes another shaft, which this shaft runs all the way underneath, all the way to the front. That's that shaft. Uh, right right there uh, that runs up to the front um there's some mouse feces right in here um so this is where one plug goes in there the other plug goes there so we'll get some new plugs fill these tires get the tires back on blow out the air filter yet fix the oil dipstick run some sea foam this thing's got a half a tank so sea foam works you put 10 mil in per gallon of gas i'll just for this tank i'll just go half a bottle i'll mix it really strong because this thing uh let's well let's give her a fire here oh i guess we can't because it's got no uh no um spark plugs on it i don't know why i did that it's got good we might do a compression test on it as well um just just for me um, to do a compression test that way. So this is the air box for the intake, obviously for the throttle body fuel injection. You got this hose comes in and this has just got two clips, right? And it's got a clip here and a clip there. And then it ha also has another filter, kind of an inline crappy type filter for the belt. And we're gonna check the belt too. And here's that filter, and that runs a hose. Uh, where is that hose now? It runs into here and gives this air. So we'll have to blow this filter out too. And this just runs through this pipe, comes up, and vents air from there. So stay tuned. We'll get those tires home. We'll buzz those tires back on. And we'll check into some of this other stuff. You've never seen this before. This is sea foam. I did a whole video on seafoam. I'll link it up there at the top. But uh, it's like a little soy sauce uh, thingy on the end there. So I am one-handed. Pop her open and it is 10 mil per gallon. But because uh, we're gonna set that seafoam on the ground. We'll get the sea foam. This is that uh, still the same obviously video. So we're gonna go with uh, about that much. Now uh, get three tanks roughly out of it, and that just treats the motor for carbon. Well, let's let's do some reading up on sea foam again. I, again, I did a full length on it. Uh, Cleans injectors, plug in the carb jets, see uh, stabilizes fuel. This fuel's been in here a year, so. We did it in two tanks. Um, so I put half of it in this half a tank. So I'll probably add uh, a little bit of fresh fuel. It's gonna be fairly strong sea foam wise. So the next tank, when this is empty, the next tank I'll just dump the rest of the sea foam into. Man, this is all weird. Anyway. We'll Got see some new there. plugs. I'm just going to fire this up quick and we'll do an old test. So that's it there. We'll... And then we'll shut it off. We'll put the plugs in and see what Here's it does. These plugs, they're kind of, they're not the worst I've seen. They're definitely not the best I've seen either. As you see there, kind of in the uh, middle there, the electrode should be white in the center and it's now black. This one's kind of got a rusty gold color to it. So these plugs definitely are not the worst that I've ever seen, but um, they are not the best plugs at all. Let's get you. Yeah. So yeah, those are the plugs there. I love this camera. Look at the blurry background. Anyway, 
I'll get some new plugs. Alrighty, here's the look. Uh, the one on your left is a brand new plug. The one on the right there is the gross dirty plug. Um, is it worth cleaning the old plugs? To me, it's not. Um, I don't see a need in it at all. Um, new plugs, you can see how much the electrode is wore down on the old one compared to the new one. Although this one is an NGK and this new one is an auto light. So we'll get this one in the machine with the other one and uh, we'll see what these act like. Get this plug out. A little on the tricky side for me to get you in here. Sorry if the wind noise is bad. I apologize. I'm not in a graduate time and wind is temperamental some days. So here again is that old plug. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then new plug here going in the hole. I always uh, kind of cinch down this hole a little bit. And uh, we will get this plug in and we will call it good. So I'm going to get this in and uh, going to tighten it down here. And then we will do a fire up on the old unit itself. Okay. And with these ones, I do tighten down a little extra because these crush washers have never been um, crushed. So you don't want to have, so that's about good there. You can actually hear the crush washer crushing down. So that's it. All right, we're going to take this air filter and blow it out. All right, I'm gonna finish blowing that out and uh, we'll get her back in the machine. Okay, so I know this cavity is quite dusty, but it's like a wet dust. So unless I blew it out, I, so we obviously blew this filter out and then this cap I just put back on the top and then it, uh, these little latches click over top. Um, it obviously has to be turned like so top latch gets latched bottom latch I will latch now um, there we go the guy's back on it kind of breeze through there and uh, this thing is officially done one quick walk around junk in there that's mom's rig this air filter I just kind of um, kind of banged out I don't want to blow on it um, yeah I don't want to blow on it too hard Alrighty, we are gonna take the sucker for a test drive and then uh, it is fully done here let's hook you up to the tripod here
and you can feel the power difference. me today on this episode sorry again for the wind noise uh stay tuned next episode we'll be doing a drive belt and a side by side or an oil change on a quad something like that um, more of these um this thing's a way better as she drives it and runs sea foam through it we'll run sea foam through it all year so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next episode